Hey guys, it's Ash, and this is gonna be my upgrade priority guide for players who are planning on moving to Town Hall 11 and are wondering what to upgrade first. As Town Hall 11 is right at the corner, and we'll be seeing many people upgrading to Town Hall 11. I know I'm upgrading to Town Hall 11 as soon as it's released, so if you are too, then you're most likely wondering what to upgrade uh, first. So I made this upgrade priority guide to not only help me organize my upgrades, but also help you guys as well. The first thing you want to do is get the Grand Warden. The Grand Warden is the best thing about Town Hall 11 and is the centerpiece for offense at Town Hall 11. He is also the reason many hardcore players will be rushing to Town Hall 11 so that they can not only utilize him on offense but also get a head start on upgrading him to level 20 as soon as possible. So make sure you have your elixir storages full and have the Grand Warden as soon as possible. The second best thing about Town Hall 11 is Eagle Artillery. However, for war players, it comes with a price as it will substantially increase your war weight. So if you're an active war player and want easier competition, especially since you will probably have the Grand Warden on upgrade most of the time, you may want to rethink about building the Eagle Artillery. Uh, but for those who don't care about wars and are more focused on farming, build that Eagle Artillery. It will protect your loot better. Not only that, due to the upcoming matchmaking system, as a Town Hall, Town Hall 11, uh, you will be targeted mainly by other high level players. Next, get that laboratory to level 9 as soon as possible. And before you upgrade your laboratory, make sure you start a troop upgrade first. Why? Because the lab will continue to upgrade that troop even if the lab itself is inactive. I know many people are still unaware of this, but Supercell had made this change in the dark a few months ago. And looking at the pattern of upgrades, I would expect the laboratory upgrade to be around 7 days and cost around 7 million elixir uh, to upgrade. You also get two new troop levels with the level 9 laboratory, the level 3 witch and the level 7 minion. Uh, so which one should I upgrade first? Well, it depends on the type of player you are. If you're focused on wars and use witches or plan to use them, then it's a no-brainer that you should upgrade them first. Level 2 mass witches are monsters at Town Hall 10. So just think of how awesome they would be uh, at level 3. So while if you're a farmer who doesn't care about wars and use minions for farming a lot, then you probably want to go with minions first. Or if you're a Lava Lunian trophy pusher who never uses witches, then you would probably want to go with level 7 minion too. <clears throat> As for me, I'll be doing level 3 witches because they will just be overall better, much better as level 6 minions are fine for farming and Lava Lunian anyway. And I want to experience wars at Town Hall 11 with them too and uh, we'll continue to farm at Titan 3 with giants, wizards and witches. So level 3 witches is the, is, is the way to go for me. Continue upgrading the Grand Warden. Getting the Grand Warden is cool, but a level 1 Grand Warden is uncool. Like the Barbarian King and the Archer Queen, you won't get his ability, the Eternal Tome, until he's at level 5. The Eternal Tome is an extremely important ability, especially when he's at level 20, as it will last the whole 5 seconds. Which doesn't sound like much, but any experienced player understands uh, how big of an impact the 5 seconds of godliness is. Then get all the new extra defenses at level 1, the 4th expo, the 5th wizard tower, another archer tower, and a cannon so that you can start designing your town hall 11 base. Upgrade your gold storages to level 12. It's very likely that the eagle artillery will cost like 10 million gold to upgrade to level 2. So make sure you have your gold storages upgraded first so that you can upgrade the eagle artillery to level 2. Also, make sure your elixir storages are maxed out as well. The Grand Warden's upgrades will also possibly surpass 8 million elixir, so be, so be prepared. The additional HP coverage of these high level storages also help with shielding your defenses. So if you're building the Eagle Artillery, then also continue to upgrade it to level 2 when it's complete. Now work on getting the extra defenses to Town Hall 9 level. Uh, level 3 Expos, Wizard Towers to level 7, level 11 Archer Towers, uh, but you can leave the Cannon at level 8 uh, for now as he won't have as much of an impact as the other defenses. Cannons are a liability against air attacks and are slow in ground attacks, so they're not as important. Next, get your Expo to level 4 as uh, they provide you with a very big boost of HP, which is very essential for solidifying your core. 
And level 8 wizard towers are also excellent, not just against farming compositions, but also balloons, giants, witches, and wi wizards. Then get the wizard towers to level 9. I can already see level 9 wizard towers being a killer against Lava Lunian attacks, as long as you keep your wizard towers away from air defenses so Lava Hounds don't distract them. You may also need them to counter the new level 3 witches. Lastly, get your archer towers maxed at level 13 and cannons to level 13 as well. Prioritize archer towers over cannons as they are just, just overall better. Archer towers shoot faster and can attack both air and ground units and are just as powerful as cannons. Uh, so there's no reason why you should be maxing out your cannons before your archer towers. Well, that will be all. Hopefully this helped you guys who are planning on going to Town Hall 11. If you found this to be helpful, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also support my channel by subscribing. Uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Later.